Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. Find the sum of first thousand positive integers and first n positive integers. So let us start with the first part. First thousand positive integer means our arithmetic progression is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till thousand. So here we have first term as 1. Although we can use the normal formula where d is also used instead we can use the other form of the same formula where the last term is known to us which is thousand then sum of thousand terms will be n by 2 into a plus l that is 1000 by 2 into 1 plus 1000 on solving we will get 500 into 1001 which is equal to 500500 that is 5 lakhs and 500 on the same lines, consider the second part of the same question. Now the arithmetic progression for the second part will end at n. 1, 2, 3 and so on. Last term will be n. a is 1. Last term is n. So sum of first n the positive integers will be equal to n by 2 into a plus l on substituting the values sn equal to n by 2 into 1 plus n so n into n plus 1 by 2 we come to the conclusion that sum of first n positive integers is given by n into n plus 1 by 2 which has to be remembered as a formula as well. Let us read the question. Find the sum of first 24 terms of the list of numbers whose nth term is given as a n equal to 3 plus 2 n. Now the nth term is dependent on n so we can calculate a 1 equal to 3 plus 2 into 1 which is equal to 5. Similarly a 2 will be 3 plus 2 into 2 which is 7 a3 is 9 and so on so the list of numbers is 5 7 9 next one will be 11 and so on First term is 5, d will be 7 minus 5, which is also equal to 9 minus 7. This we are doing to check whether the terms are in arithmetic progression and find that 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 7 is also 2 and 11 minus 
9 is also 2. So the given list of numbers are in arithmetic progression. Now it remains to find sum of 24 terms of this arithmetic progression. Substitute in the formula. We have n by 2 that is 24 by 2 into 2 times a plus n minus 1 d so 24 minus 1 into d solving this further we get that sum of first sum of first 24 terms of this arithmetic progression is 672. Let us read the question. A manufacturer of TV sets produced 600 sets in the third year and 700 sets in the seventh year. Assuming that the production increases uniformly by a fixed number every year, Find the production in the first year, the production in the tenth year and the total production in first seven years. Since it is given that the production increases uniformly by a fixed number every year, the number of TV sets manufactured in first year, then second year and third year and so on will form an arithmetic progression. Let us denote the number of TV sets manufactured in the nth year by an. So we are given number of TV sets manufactured in the third year which is 600 and number of TV sets manufactured in seventh year is 700. This also means that a plus 3 minus 1 d is equal to 600. Let us mark this equation as 1 and a plus 7 minus 1 d is equal to 700. Now we can now solve the two equations. Say we subtract 1 from 2, we get a plus 6d equal to 700 minus a minus 2d equal to minus 600 which gives us 4d equal to 100 or d equal to 25. Substitute in any one of the equations. Say we put in first equation. Then a plus 50 equal to 600. a equal to 550. So we get Production of TV in the first year is 550. Now we can calculate the production of TV in the 10th year by substituting the values of A and D. A is 550 and D is 25. This gives us 550 which is equal to 775. So the production of TV sets in the 10th year is 775. Now it remains to find the sum of TV production in the first 7 years that is we have to find S7 which will be given by 7 by 2 into 2 times a plus n minus 1 d n is 7 here 
and D is 25. On solving we will get that 4375. The total production of TV sets in the first 7 years is 4375.